So today I'm going to be talking to you all about what I think is, is very important, which is um, why do we need instant digital payments in this globalized world? And spoiler alert, um, I think that Ukraine could be an example to where the global digital market is going to evolve to. And I will talk to you why that is. But before that, I would like to, yeah, uh, a bit about us. So we are a digital money transfer platform. The company is seven years old. We have raised now $40 million. We have 170 people across five offices. So we have London, Vilnius, Lithuania, Berlin, Warsaw, and Istanbul, which really speaks about our target customer audiences. And the company is, is, is a platform for payments, meaning that we, we cover multiple segments and solve cross-border payment problem for multiple segments. So we, our main business, and we are, in a sense, consumer brands. So we're retail cross-border payments for individuals who no longer want to use cash or broken banking systems and want to send money instantly back home. So when you look at the four segments in our platforms, like the two is, is individuals sending money. That's 90% of our business. And we have a fast-growing SME segment as well, small to medium businesses who are paying their suppliers in Asia, LATAM, Ukraine, uh, Turkey, or any other emerging markets. So today we serve uh, 47 countries globally. By the end of the year, we'll be in 147 countries, and the team is very busy to make that happen. So we are today in the first two points. The future for us is going to be local payments and processing payments for others, which if I have some time, I'll be able to cover. But that's not the point. Let's talk about the first point on that slide, which is the retail payments, the consumer payments. Um, and so, if you can see here, this is our mission statement. So, TransFego's mission is to help you move value globally as easily and conveniently as texting, as easily and conveniently as sending a WhatsApp message. I'd like you to think about that experience, and that's the end goal. And we are still not there globally. There are so many friction points so many uh, limitations today, but I think step by step we're getting to that point. And what, from this presentation, hopefully you will see that this mission is worthwhile because the more you come closer and closer to this reality, consumers really love that. And they, and, and they love the brands and they're willing to, to be ambassadors of your brand. So within that mission, why it is important and why digital instant, why not two to three days why, why, this, this, why this threshold? So let's look at this. So cash transfers today is still king globally. And everybody knows that they're expensive. It's an average of 7% fee on a cash transfer, right? So if you ask our customers, they all say, yeah, I know that Western Union is charging me a lot, but there's two things. It's instant, so my mother gets the payment uh, right then and then. And it's also localized. So when I go to that cash point, I can talk in Poland, in Ukrainian or Russian, to the gentleman or lady who is servicing me. So I get access in localized way that I would not be able to get from a Polish bank or a German bank. And that's critical because it's a trust business. People don't trust what they don't understand and they want to be double sure that the money goes. And they're willing to pay 7% for that, which is just robbery in the middle of the day <laughs> when you think about 7%. Uh, but that's the reality still today. And cash globally is 80% of the market. So when you think about digital globally, it's still early days of digital remittances. People are still queuing up in those crazy, crazy queues, and they're, they're sending money there, and they're being charged a hell of a lot. But we need to think why that is. It's not because of lack of knowledge. Already, It's not because of lack of tech expertise. Most of these people are standing in those queues on their WhatsApp or on their Facebook page. So they're perfectly tech savvy. A couple of reasons for that, but you know, the old habits die hard. Uh, but also this. And I think this instantaneous and localized nature of cash and that access. So the instantaneous and localized nature of cash, what makes it still prevalent, and that's why, frankly speaking, Cash is not leaving the stage as quickly as we thought. If you look at this previous metric of 80%, three or four years ago, it was 90%. So yes, 
gradually, point by point, globally, we are moving to the right direction, but nowhere fast enough. And so digital banking, and what, when, I, when, I, when I talk about digital banking, I talk about swift enabled cross-border payments. This is how banks move value between one another. Doesn't really solve the problem because it is slightly cheaper than cash, but it still can take up to two to three business days. I know that Swift is taking good measures to speed that up, but it's trying to fix a very complicated system globally, step by step, which is not really one system. It's just a, a lot of bilateral relationships that banks have with one another that prevents them from enabling to offer the consumers a reliably instant digital experience. And I'm not even talking about the usability itself. It is improving, um, but it is too slow to get people to transition. So three to four percent and two to three business days. So effectively what we need, we need something that's 10 times better than digital banking cross-border payments. Something that's instant and something that is really four clicks experience. Um, it's a bit like, when you think about it, it's a bit like bookstores trying to do Amazon. That's not how Amazon is being built. Amazon was built when you took the full experience and completely revamped it from scratch. And you use new systems, new ways of moving value. Um, and it's a big deal, right? It's worthwhile to, to, to disrupt because people who are abroad and send money back home every month after payday, which for Ukrainians is 12th of the month, uh, they have to do it because that's why they are abroad. Right? There's, there, it's not like they're buying a third house. <laughs> they are sending money to bring their home, home uh, you know, their friends and family to a better standard of living every month. And we see them being as heroes because for them it's 20% of their income, usually, or even more. So, you know, looking at various cost standards, that's a sizable portion of their income that they send money back home, right? And it's very important. So, if something is very important, and the only way to actually transform, accelerate the transformation is to enable digital payments that are instant and are local as cash. So we want to provide the experience that instant, but also the experience that you can come to Poland and you can be serviced in Poland in Ukrainian or Russian. That's where our customer support teams across the board in Poland, in Vilnius, Lithuania, are serviced. Now half of our customer support teams are now Ukrainians. And that's critical. Um, so, new standard. Uh, so what we've done in the last couple of years is we have decreased the cost to sub 2%, right? What we have done as well, we have offered a digital offering which is guarantees you money delivered under 30 minutes, which is actually happens in minutes. And that's closer and closer to the digital offering. And customers really loved it. So in the last couple of years, we have become the best rated money transfer company in the world globally. And by I say customers, a big portion of that was Ukrainian love. So 4.5 out of, uh, 4.8 out of five, that's, that's number one. And the combination of these things just shows where the market wants us to go. And uh, you know, 78 NPS score, that really shows of how people feel through the entire user experience. And here, there is some numbers on our Ukrainian transactions. So last year we saw 300% growth in monthly, monthly revenue and, and transactions. We are now moving 6.4 billion grivna, which is around 250 million pounds per year. And that's a lot of small transactions. And here we're talking about around 180 pound transaction uh, every, every month. So, and we're just getting started because the growth is further accelerating because more and more people are coming into coming into, into digitization. And what's happening in Ukraine, which is very interesting, Ukrainians have leapt cash in many respects because they have innovative good banks on the home side who are transitioning people to digital and they were able to adopt new technologies. And, and that's, that's why Ukraine could be a very good example for the world, what you need to do to actually accelerate digitization. And most importantly, in the, as a byproduct, we have actually saved our customers 180 million grivna in the process. And we are just getting started on that. And that's, the, that's money that they can spend on more for their families, more for their standard of living. And that really brings people up. Uh, and that's why we exist. That's why we think that our mission is worthwhile. And we're happy to partner with some of the many great people here uh, to deliver this mission uh, globally. So 
Um, today, I promise that I will tell you why instant payments is critical and why Ukraine could be the example that, 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 that could show the world how to digitize. And that's what it is. It is an example uh, because Ukrainians have adopted digital significantly faster than any other emerging markets or, should we say, new market segment that we've seen. And we're just getting started. So, uh, next for us is, we're going to talk more about this, but, you know, I want to finish off with the same thing, is we need instant to digitize, and we need instant to accelerate digitization, um, because it's worthwhile. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.